Welcome to Pens and Needles. Today I have something really special to show you. This is a Kiona Oto ink, which is glittery and beautiful. And I decided to splurge on this ink because it's very similar to my wedding color. And I got this ink to go in a pen that I got for my wedding. So I wanted something to commemorate our, um, our wedding. We weren't doing rings. We did have some other jewelry, but I wanted something that I would use and that would remind me all the time of our wedding. So I decided to get a pen and because one of the themes of the wedding was shells and the jewelry that we were using had petrified shells, I really wanted to get a pen that had shell in the barrel or the design somehow. When it arrived, I was overjoyed. It definitely exceeded expectations, especially at the price point that I found it. So the black resin is a satin finish, which initially picks up fingerprints, but after using it for a little while, you really don't notice them anymore. It has a lovely weight to it. The shape is quite pleasant to hold. It's actually tapered a little bit at the center, but it is, it, it is quite comfortable to hold. The grip section is really nice. I will say that there are only a few downsides that I've noticed so far. Um, one of them is that the pen is a little bit heavier than what I typically use, so that was a bit of an adjustment. I'll also say that you have to unscrew it quite a few times. It takes, I think, three or four full rotations to get the cap off. Um, and the cap also can screw onto the back so it can post, which is kind of an interesting feature. But especially with how heavy this pen is and how short and small my hands are, it wasn't really a required feature. And I'm not such a fan of the screw threads being visible on the back of the pen. The last downside that I'll mention is that the nib on my pen was a little scratchy. Now, I don't know how much of that is because of uh, the fact that I used glitter ink in it the first time or that I just happened to get one of the pens that, you know, didn't go through a uh, hundred, you know, hundred percent quality control. But whatever reason, it's a bit scratchy. Now that's not a huge deal breaker. It's just something to notice that it's a little bit annoying and I will take this into a nib tailor at some point to get that figured out. Um, I love the fact that it came with a converter. So it was very easy to um, add some ink and get it going. And it's just gorgeous, just gorgeous to look at. I often catch myself not writing because I am admiring the pen and letting it catch the light in different ways. And I tried my best with the video to show you a little bit of what that's like, but it's really hard for it to come across on camera. So overall, I really love the ink and I really love the pen. I think they're beautiful. They do come with their own little challenges, right? Shimmer ink needs a lot of attention. It needs to be shaken quite frequently. It needs to be cleaned out of your pens co like completely. I Every time I clean it, I have to take the nib and the feed apart from each other. So if you are going to use this in a pen, make sure it's one that you are comfortable completely disassembling and putting back together. Um, but it is gorgeous and it's really nice to paint with as well. So I've used it to decorate the outsides of note paper and envelopes and I've been able to customize my stationery that way and it's really really beautiful um, so I definitely recommend using it for art as well as for writing. The pen like I said it can be a little heavy it can take a while to unscrew it and screw it back on uh, but it is beautiful and I think that the overall functionality of it definitely makes up for any of the small uh, criticisms that I have on it that are just very personal pet peeves of mine. All right, I hope that you enjoyed this review. If you have any questions or any suggestions, please put them in the comments. I look forward to hearing from you and I'll see you in my next video.